Hello everyone and welcome to Alchemy Emporium, given to me by Curtail Games. Now, the only thing I can think is a bit of potion making here and there, but other than that I know nothing. Because, as always, I like to go in blind. To discover the game's ending you need to reach a high experience threshold. Okay. Insert your name, Kata, as always. The orphanage was not a suitable place for children. Which was ironic, all things considered. The problem was mostly due to the fact so many different species were looked after. After all, it is a well-known fact human children have different needs than imp, cubs, or skeleton babies. Am I playing Minecraft? One day, an old alchemist came to visit the orphanage. He was looking for a young crow to train as an apprentice. Unfortunately for him, there wasn't even a trait of young crows. Finally, he had to sell on a young girl. Her small, slender figures... Her small slender fingers certainly couldn't compete with a strong beak and the ability to fly. But the alchemist was in a hurry and took her in anyway. Days began to go by and the girl grew up. One week matched about a year, according to the alchemist's calculations. Apparently the treatment was working. Okay. The most interesting aspect was that together with the pure, 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 the most interesting aspect was that together with the purely physical growth that was uh, la, 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 what was now a teenager had internalized personal experiences as if she had really lived all those years. After a few months the girl had become a woman, a good alchemist, a bit of beginner, and luckily her aging had stopped. I'm a magic human! Then the time came for the old alchemist to carry out his plan. He locked himself in his laboratory and asked not to be disturbed. After a few days, a young woman who couldn't hear any noises coming from the lab worried about the fate of her mentor, so she decided to enter his sanctum. The only things she found waiting for her were a strange instrument, completely torn apart, and the alchemist's robes resting on the ground, nothing more. Oh, he died? Oh dear. As the days went by, the alchemist's absent did not go unnoticed. The customer's questions became more and more insistent, culminating in the arrival of several guards to search the store. It was rumoured that it was the young woman herself who had made the alchemist disappear. On the same... La, 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 la. On the very same night, you decide to leave, heading as far as possible. I butchered that line. On the very same night, you decided to leave, heading as far away as possible. Your plan is to open an emporium to earn a living, keeping out of trouble. Select the village. Okay, so... Okay. Huh. I mean, I suppose we want to go to Hamlet. Ha Hamlet, not Hamulet. Hamlet. Because it's got high population. Um... And it's high everything, so it should help if I play this one. Fingers crossed. Select your order. Order of Revealed Secrets. Order of the Brotherhood. Order of the Subterfuge. Hmm. What's that? Materialism. You get intoxicated less frequently when... You know what? Let's go with it. Order of the Moon. Select a partner. Cheryl Fant. Dwight Skorup Ardanil Vignetti Moss Rock Moss Vig I can't pronounce that name Terry Meldon Lagarette Mr. Hyde No! Mr. Bubbles <laughs> I thought Bioshock as soon as I said that Mrs. Connolly Jack Barr uh, Let's go with Lagarette because it makes me think of Vikings I've only seen a little Vikings Points left. Okay, so you've got negotiation, supplying, mixing socks to taste, sale, human resources, and learning ability. So let's put that up a bit. Actually, let's make sure all of these have got. Oh, more. You know what? I'm gonna do these randomly because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay! This is gonna be fun. That or I completely 100% messed up my chances of doing the game well. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, tutorial, thank you. You are on the bulletin board, a place where you can organise the activities. 
of the whole week and much more. I'll show you in the next steps. This is the area where you can find activities. You will perform these activities depending on how you scheduled them within the, we the work week, as I will show you later. Who's, who, who's showing me this? This is the area of the helpers you have hired. For now, you only have one. Papa Smurf! Oh my god, it's Papa Smurf. But you can hire more at the same time. Through this button, you can access the tools. You'll need them to unlock higher grade ingredients and books and progress through the game. Don't forget to buy them. Through this button, you can access the helpers screen. Here you can hire them, fire them, check the skills and contractual conditions. Through this button, you can access shady deals, but they will only be available after the fifth week. Here you will find all the shady guys you need, who can be sent against your competitors to try and gain an edge. The working day is divided into four phases, morning, afternoon, evening and night. Through talents, you can improve your work performance at certain times of the day and unlock night work. As the weeks go by, you may find scheduled events in this row such as veg vegetables. Yes, vegetables. As the weeks go by, you may find scheduled events in this row such as village festivals and dragon hunts. Ooh, that sounds a bit dangerous. They can affect many aspects of the game, so be sure to be ready with the right portions for customers who might be attending the events. These icons show the items in the warehouse. They are a quick reminder of the raw materials and potions you have available. Useful to better organize the working week. Now let's try to populate the work week. Drag purchase activity into the Monday mornings box. Okay, now drag the mixing task into the Monday afternoon box. Helpers cannot support you in all activities. Of the two available, one can carry out the purchase activity. Try to drag it here. If you want to remove an activity and the designated dri driver, <sighs> it's going to be one of these days. If you want to remove an activity and a designated helper, simply click on that activity. If you only want to remove the helper, just click on it. The preset button will be very useful for saving a working week and recalling it with just one click. Click on this preset to load a week we have prepared for you. Okay. Presets are very simple to use. You can load the activities with a left click, as you just did. Why is the double apostrophe there? Anyway, with the right click, you can save the current week in the clicked preset. Click the middle button of the ring to exit the tutorial. Okay, so purchase. Do I not have any helpers? Oh, okay, we should probably get some helpers. A the imp, Jamie the apprentice, Max the bearer, Pazuzu the imp. Oh my god, I gotta get Pazuzu. I was watching The Simpsons earlier and one of the characters was called Pazuzu. Eddie the skeleton, Max the bearer. You know what? Okay, so, okay, Papa Smurf, you're gonna have to wait. Okay, so, purchase and mixing. Wait, preset? Oh no. There we go. So you can only help with shop management and sales. Uh, let's put you on sales? Question mark. That should work. Select the merchant you want to trade with. Okay, um, so zero finish your form. Um, we're going to have to tutorial this, guys. In this activity, you will be able to buy the ingredients needed to mix por portions. Portions, no. In this activity, you will be able to buy the ingredients needed to mix potions and in the future also books, which you will use to level up. Furthermore, as we will see shortly, you can also sell the ingredients in your warehouse to look for profit. For a profit. The three highlighted portraits are suppliers. Click on them to access an estimate of their inventory. Through these keys, you can select the different types of ingredients. Base, transformable, semi-finished and specific. In this section, you can see the ingredients you currently have in your warehouse. On this side, you have an estimate of the ingredients available from the vendors. Initially, they will deal with very similar goods, but as you progress along the way, along the game, 
they will start to vary. Click on, on this supplier to select it. Click on this icon to transformable. Click the icon to select transformable ingredients. On the left, you will see the ones that are already available in your warehouse. On the right, those treated by the supplier. Use the buttons at the bottom right of the screen to decide whether to sell and then buy or go directly to the sales phase. Click on the highlighted button to go to the sales phase. In this phase, you load the ingredients on the cart to be sold to the supplier. On the left, you see the goods that sell in stock, while on the right, the loaded goods. This icon shows the icons. Ugh. This icon shows the slot still available. In this case, it shows how much space you still have available in the warehouse. The same icon on the right shows you how much space you have in the car. Click this ingredient three times to transfer it from the warehouse to the car. There are three. These are the three ingredients you just loaded into the cart. Onto the cart. The red amount in the red. Bleh, the red amount in the ring shows how much room is left. Now try to remove an ingredient from the cart. Just click on it. As you may have noticed, the ring has recovered a notch. Now click the highlighted button to sell the ingredients in the cart and proceed to the purchase phase. In this last phase, you can purchase the ingredients sold by the supplier. Click this icon to select the bases. It doesn't matter if you click left or right. Purchase two ingredients for each of these bases. The ingredients and their characteristics are generated precautionally. Generated randomly. Every game could be different. Click this icon to select the semi finished products. At least one base, one semi finished, and one specific is required for each mixture. Purchase two ingredients for each of these two semi finished products. Wait, isn't that what I sold earlier? Why am I I'm buying it back? Purchase two ingredients for each of these two specifics. In addition to these three types of ingredients that you have just purchased, there are also transformables. These can only be used if you have purchased a specific tool and can be added onto can be added to the mixing phase instead of semi-finished products, although you will need three instead of just one. Usually they allow you to save some cash. Click this icon to select the transformables. Buy three transformables for each ingredient listed. In this, in this phase, the ring shows how much room is still available in the car. When there is no more space, the ring will turn completely red. Click this button to confirm your purchase. Click the middle button of the ring to exit the tutorial. That tutorial is a lot to take in. Wait, how do I... Guess I'll just have to buy things. Okay. There we go. That should do it. You bought, you bought 20 ingredients for 286. No, I don't want to go on that. to put into the tool. During the mixing you can mix previously purchased ingredients and create new mixes. In this activity the ring indicates the time at your disposal. Every second mixing attempt will take some time. Through these keys you can switch with one type of ingredient to another. Click this base to add it to the mixture tool. 
Different categories of ingredients will give different properties to the mixtures. You'll find out with experience. Now select the specific category. Click the specific to add it to the tool. Click here to add the semi-finished products. Click the semi-finished to add it to the tool. That's such a weird name, semi-finished, finished? Specific? You are now ready to mix your first potion. Click on the highlighted button. You can rename the mixture. It will come especially in handy when you begin to understand the properties of the ingredients. Click OK to continue. Uh, tutorial. Now let's try mixing another potion. Click the semi-finished product to vary the composition of the mixture. Click on the button to start mixing. Mixing failed. Some ingredients are unsuitable for mixing mixtures, for making mixtures, and will always lead to failure. Sometimes, sometimes, however, there will be some mistake during the mixing process. It will be up to you to understand what happened. Click on the transformables. Transformable ingredients are identical to semi-finished products, except they will be consumed three at a time. You will also have to purchase the appropriate tools to use them when mixing. Transformable ingredients often provide a small economic advantage. They are cheaper. Select this, select this transformable ingredient to add it to the mixing tool. Double click on the mixed button to create two identical potions. Double click on the mixed potion to create two more identical potions. Click the middle button to escape the tutorial. Alright, so let's see. Let's try the calamere stone. Uh, horse manure. And black sulfur. Ha. Okay. No, living sulfur. Oh, I need to add all the ingredients. Okay. No, deer antlers, uh, essential oil. Oh, okay. I don't know what I did. I did it. Okay, so deer antlers, black sulfur. A. And now I have no more ingredients. Okay. You don't have enough ingredients to mix and you have finished the activity, click on these. I, I did, I did click it to exit. Okay. In the tasting phase, you can try to identify the properties of the mixtures you have prepared, identifying the labels related to the mixture. In a highlighted area, you can see the mixtures ready to be tasted. At this stage, the quantity does not matter. The mixtures in multiple quantities have the same properties. All mixtures start with two white labels, meaning they have never been tasted. Now let's try to taste the mixture. First click on one of the two labels. When they are both white, it makes no difference. You can perform the tasting yourself or use compounds and tasters, which you unlock later, to discover the labels of the mixture. In this tutorial, we'll perform the tasting yourself. Click the confirm button to start the tasting. As you may have noticed, the portions of the ring that will be consumed and the cost of the tasting are pointed out. Improved senses, nice. In this activity, the ring indicates how many attempts you still have before the time runs out. In addition to the white labels, there are also yellow and green labels. Yellow label means that the tasting result is still uncertain. It will be necessary to taste the mixture again to confirm it. When the label turns green, it means that it is confirmed and correct so you won't be able to change it anymore. Each mixture can only be tasted once per activity. This is because at the end of the tasting, you are sure that the result obtained is the correct one. However, you can retrace your steps in subsequent tasting activities. The trash bin icon will come in handy in the later stages of the game. When you understand the properties of the ingredients, you'll be able to tell if the taste is wrong even if it has a yellow label. Click on the middle of the ring. Okay. So, I've got a question. With these tasting sessions, is there a chance I can get poisoned? Because that'll be quite interesting. Reveal lies. Ah. Okay. So I can't do that one again. Okay. I think this label is reveal lies. Okay, so. Hmm. 
Oh, there's an antidote burn up there, so I might be right about the poisoning. Oh, I can do it again. Okay, let's try this one. Ah, so you can change. Okay, that's a change thing. What about this one? Paralyses. Oh, we do not want to do paralyses. In this activity, you can per. In this activity, you can package the mixtures you have previously crafted to permanently turn them into potions. Remember, they must have at least one yellow label. For each single mixtures that you have crafted, you can choose a different packaging. In the shop, you could therefore find the same blend divided accordingly to its packaging. Click the confirm button to put the mixture in a cheap packaging. In this activity, the ring tells you how many potions you can still pack before running out of time. Click this button to switch to the other packaging. Using different packaging has an impact in a sales phase. They could improve customer satisfaction and increase the profit margin on the potion. Some customers may request more beautiful packaging in case they wish to give the potion as a gift or if they have a refined taste. Double. Double click the confirm button to use. Okay. Click. Okay. So I just need to package these up. Okay. I want to put that one slightly better because that's got. That's worth more. We'll put this cheaper. Okay. In this activity, you have the opportunity to move ready to sell potions from the warehouse. This will save you time as you sell potions to customers. This potion. Yeah. This potion? The word potion isn't even in there. This icon indicates the warehouse. All new potions are initially stored there. This icon indicates the shelves. Placing potions here will take less time than it would fetching them from the warehouse. This last icon indicates the potions under the counter. Serving the customers from here will be much faster, but there isn't much room. The counter is already selected. Click this potion to put. Okay. Okay. In this activity, the ring indicates the movements you still have available in time. Okay. So, standard. Every time you do something, the ring indicates how many chances you have before you run out. Okay. In case you make mistakes, you can always click the reset button to return to the initial situation. In general, you should always fill the counter to the brim so you will save time in the sales phase. When you're out of room under the counter, you will want to... Okay, so you, you want to go back. Backwards. Backwards on. Okay. Okay. Oh! Now we're seeing a bit more than just the technical side. You are now in the sales area of your Emporium. Here you will reap the rewards of all previous activities. Click the highlighted customer to start the sales place. In the highlighted area you can see the three icons relating to the counter, the shelves and the warehouse. Serving customers with potions already present under counter will save you time. Always do it when you can. In this area you will find the potions that can be sold to the customer. They are automatically filtered according to his request. These two areas indicate the customer's request and impressions, how many times he has already visited the store, an estimate of his available, an estimate of his available, okay, his opinion of your store and an estimate of his patience. Click this potion to select it and it will appear in the, in the screen on the right. Here you can see the current price variation. At the moment, it is. Yeah. Here you can see the current price variation. At the moment, it's at one hundred percent. It means that you haven't applied any discounts or subcharges. On the right, you can see the profit, how much you would make, uh, how much you would receive if the transaction was to be successful. 
In this area, you can decide whether to explain the potion to the customer in detail or entertain him with some interesting anecdote. Both of these possibilities will consume time but improve the customer's opinion of your store. You can also decide whether to issue the seat or not. By pointing the mouse on these elements, you will have additional information. Now click on the explain the potion and entertain to save some British time. You're ready to propose the potion you have chosen to the customer. Click on propose. The client accepted the offer and the money has been added to your fund. In these two boxes, you can find additional information on how the transaction went. Him? Pretty sure that's a her. Click on this potion to propose it to the customer. It is the cheaper of the two you have. The customer refused the potion. In the box, you can find additional details. Selling a potion isn't always a given. There are many factors that come into play. The store's reputation, the quality of the packaging, and much more. Oh dear. She didn't look happy at all, did she? Click this potion to propose it to the customer. Click propose. According to this refined customer, the potion packaging isn't pretty enough. Try offering the potion with a better packaging. We don't want to lose this customer. Give him a small discount. Then click propose to find out if the customer will agree to purchase the potion. How do I do that? How do I do the discount again? I do not know. Um, I didn't see the discount potion thing. Okay. Hello, lady. Kind of reminds me of um, Darkest Dungeon, actually, I just realised. Okay, so... Let's see if this works. By explaining the properties, you've gained reputation. By entertaining the customer, you've gained reputation. By issuing the receipt, you've fulfilled the payments or the taxes. Do I have any more potions? Oh, I have one more. The client requested a poison, but the potion doesn't have enough toxicity to be considered a po poison. You have no other potion to sell. You have, com you have finished the activity. Click on the central button to exit. Okay. Okay. I am unfortunately all out of time here. That tutorial is crazy long. And I don't mind tutorials, but that is a lot to take in. That is a lot to take in. However, I actually do enjoy the game quite a bit because I love making stuff. I like shop kind of games. I also love crafting games where you get to craft new things and potentially learn a thing here or there. But anyway, as I said, I am all out of time here. Thank you so, so much, Curtail Games, for allowing me to play Alchemy Emporium. And guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.